Hello, hello, and welcome to CNY Weathertainment's 5-day forecast right here on cnyweathertainment.com. You can get it live. You never know where I'll pop up. At 5.55 on live stream, and at 6.05 on Periscope. We also have a little contest going this week. You could win a little prize by tuning into Periscope and answering the trivia question. We do three weather headlines. We do things in threes and fives. Three weather headlines to go with the three goals of weathertainment. Heavy rain for Thursday, so be aware, flooding could be an issue. Over an inch of rain is expected. It will be colder but drying out as we go through Friday and the upcoming weekend. And in a week, a week from now, it looks like we'll turn into more pleasant and spring-like weather. 53 is the average high. We'll be close to that on Thursday, but it's going to be a stormy day. Wind and rain. Then, as things dry out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, things will also cool down. Sunday night, I should mention, there's a possibility at the onset of some precipitation overnight into Monday, even though it looks so warm here on Monday, that's not going to occur until later afternoon. Sunday night will be cold enough that a little bit of early precip could start off around the midnight hour as frozen. Just saying. But it'll be a wet breezy Monday, and then the temps should stay relatively close to average Tuesday and Wednesday. Meanwhile, this is from Tuesday, the satellite image, the visible satellite imagery. The high had built in bringing sunny skies but cold temperatures for Tuesday. I pointed out this Dakota storm that was forming. I said it would take a dog leg left turn around Lake Michigan and then back up towards Hudson Bay, Canada. Okay, so here's where the storm is. You can see the bands of clouds here, the warm front, the cold front clouds. Now, if we advance to Wednesday evening, look at that. You can see how it's moved right over Lake Michigan exactly as expected. The front's pivoted around. We picked up the clouds on Wednesday and a few midday flurries exactly as I forecasted from the warm front as it was moving in. But now that the warm front has moved through, it means we're going to stay warm enough that the precipitation out ahead of and along the cold front, which will be fast and furious, will be liquid and not solid. A lot of heavy rain going on from the Motor City right on down to the Music City of Memphis. You like the way I do that? So it's going to be a very rainy Thursday. It'll be breezy as well. And then the cold front will shut off the steady rain Thursday late afternoon evening, but there'll still be some intermittent showers going on as we get into the colder and colder air, and there's lingering moisture behind the system for flurries on Friday and cloudiness into Saturday, too. So, short story is, with that storm lifting through, heavy rain for Thursday, it'll shut off late in the afternoon and become more sprinkly or misty in the evening and overnight hours. Meanwhile, we came within five of the record low Wednesday morning. And the high occurred Wednesday evening, but even still, I have to double check my records to see if it didn't get even warmer towards midnight as that warm front pushed in. So we're very close on the high and low. Trace of precipitation, over 13 hours of daylight, and the forecast comes your way in just a moment. But first, I want to remind you and thank our sponsors. I want to give a shout out. This is just a special bonus one to the City Gym, the uh, Body Alive Gym in downtown Utica at the intersection there of Oneida and Genesee Streets. And if you're thinking about a great place to start working out, that's the place to go to. They've got everything you need and they're very helpful as well. But Picture Perfect Pools is the place you want to go to if you're thinking about a pool or spa or if you need to maintain your pool or spa you already have. And they are located on Route 5 in New Hartford on Seneca Turnpike. And they're a proud supporter of the Utica Comets, but that's where you'd go to to get everything you need to maintain your pool or spa. And you know what? There's going to be some pooling and ponding. And it's not going to feel like a spa for Thursday. Look at that. That's kind of what it's going to feel like most of the day. Rain, often heavy at times, breezes, steady south winds, 15, 20, 25 miles per hour. 52 for the high. Then Thursday night, showers and sprinkles intermittently, on and off, on and off. Mainly just kind of drizzly and damp, though. Eventually, as the winds kick around to southwest and then west, it'll turn cold enough that by the time we get to Friday morning, there may be some flurries. Cloudy skies, few flurries, high of only 40 degrees, 
and it dries up, but cools down even further for Saturday, just mostly cloudy, 33. It'll clear up late in the day for a clear night and a sunny Sunday. But then, then, Sunday night it rapidly clouds up. There may be some initial snow at the start, early, early Monday morning, and then it'll quickly go to rain and turn breezy and warmer with highs in the mid-50s. That is your five-day forecast. Take it and make it a great day.